What is up YouTube? Intricate Explorer here today and today I'm going to be talking about how I converted my Toyota Prius into a complete stealth camping machine. You can literally camp anywhere in the United States with this thing from upper class suburban neighborhoods to the grungiest campgrounds in the middle of nowhere without anyone even blinking an eye or noticing at all what you're doing. So I'm going to break this into four segments here which are going to be how to put a mattress pad in the back how to put up a curtain to divide the car in half, how to tint the windows, and how to put up rain guards to protect yourself from the rain. So I'm gonna drop timestamps below, so if you wanna skip to different sections, you can see where it is. But first off, I'm gonna show you what this car looks like and the capabilities of it. So let's pop into that. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pop open the hood and you can see what it looks like. So pop it open. First thing you see, it's basically just a couch. So sit back here, chill. Do whatever you want. I like to put a pillow here, like read, hang out, do whatever you want. And then you're probably wondering where I keep all my clothes. So I keep all my clothes and food under here. And I actually took the spare tire out. So if you lift this up, there's a whole nother section down there where I keep all my camping gear. Close that shut. This is literally the entire setup. And I have a backpacking backpack that I keep right here where I keep all my camera gear in it. Everything else is completely clear. So if you check out the side doors here, completely flips up, there's nothing back here. Can have four passengers in here, no problem. Not even noticing that you're living in this thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how easy it is to roll this bed out. So lay this down here. Then you're gonna do the other side and do the same thing. And then you're basically just gonna unroll the bed. Next step, got a full body pillow that I literally keep in a compression sack under this front seat here and it just pops out and rolls here under the other seat i have a sleeping bag and another compression seat and i take that out and then just lay that here boom shut the hood lay down pass out good all right so then i got this black photographer's curtain that i literally just hang up along the edges here so I, it, since it's velcro it just sticks right to the top here as you can see it's just flush along these edges here and it just pops right up so you can't see in at all and i'll show you what it looks like from the front as well so say you got the door closed and you're just trying to look inside the windows you can't really see anything at all it just looks like black inside there especially because the way the windshield on the prius is, is it almost just reflects the light so it makes it very difficult to see that there's even a curtain back there so that's basically the full setup so now i'm going to break down each component and how it all works All right, so first off, I wanna talk about the photographer's blanket that I basically use as the curtain divider between the front and the back seats. So, got it right here. Um, basically, I'll drop a link to this below. I got a giant piece of it. I folded it up four times so it's layered, and then I sewed it together so that it makes one solid stream that you can't see through at all, no matter how much light you shine through it. The reason I chose this is because it absorbs light and it's black. So if someone's walking by at night and they shine a light through your window, they can see inside of it and they'll just see black and hopefully walk away and just assume that the car lights off and they just can't see in the black because it's so dark out at night. What I did next was I put, I got industrial strength Velcro and stuck it on the back of this. And then I basically stick it right on the roof up there because the top of the roof of a Prius is actually Velcro. So it sticks perfectly and stays flush along the line so you can't see anything. This is why I chose to do this instead of a curtain rod. On the sides, I also put more Velcro strips and I just put Velcro strips along the edges of the thing so that it also stays flush along the sides there um, at night. So basically, I just keep this folded up under the seat. Then at night, I unravel it, throw it up there, and then you can't even see in the back at all because the back windows are tinted. Then this black curtain absorbs all the light in there so you have complete privacy and no one will see what you're doing inside. All right, so for the bedding here, I basically chose to, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and got basically the most expensive bougie mattress pad there is. I got three and a half inches, and if you check it out, um, you could actually see that it's just a pad. And the only thing I had to do was get a full size pad it fits basically perfectly inside a Prius. And then on the edges, we just had to cut a little grove for the tires in the back. 
And then basically we just put a, another mattress pad over the top of it for a little extra comfort and then put some very nice sheets over the top of it. It's actually comfier than my normal bed from when I was sleeping in a room in a house. If you're gonna sleep in a car, mattress pads cost generally about 80 bucks for like the cheaper lower end ones. You could also spend 350 bucks, which is what I did, get a super nice one. You're spending a third of your life sleeping in it, in a car. You might as well get the best mattress pad you can possibly get and live in total comfort in your car. Because let's face it, like you're roughing it. You're living in your car. This isn't something most people do. I'd say it's worth the extra $200 by far. So trust me, just get the best mattress pad that you feel most comfortable in. I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I just laid on all the different ones on the floor and just felt what they all felt like. Full size bed, none of that bullshit where you have one half of the seat open and you're sleeping in this like single bed and you have all your shit on the side there. Fuck that. I want a full bed so I can have people over, I can have girls over, I can have friends in the car, I can do whatever I want and basically just lunge out, you know, spread my legs, get comfortable at night sleep at an angle, sit up, not be sleeping this cramped little corner thing, feeling like, you know, it's the end of the world. So just make it comfortable. You know, you're gonna live in it. You might have to get a little bit minimal with your other stuff and, you know, but you can, you can, it's doable. You can totally get enough clothes and enough food to fit in this undercarriage. That is exactly what I've been doing and it works super fine. You just gotta be a little bit, uh, you know, more uh, picky in what you uh, keep in your car. All right, next thing I want to talk about, 5% limo grade tinted windows. Don't go any higher than that. Yes, 5% limo grade is illegal, but there's a very low chance that you're going to get pulled over for it unless you're doing something like bumping music really loud, looking sketchy, you have an insane paint job. If you're in a Toyota Prius, people just assume you're a family car. You don't really know what you're doing. They don't think you're up to anything sketchy. I had a cop pull me over the other day. I just rolled down the back windows and he didn't even notice that the windows were tinted. Most people don't notice it, and it makes such a big difference in being able to see the car. So I'll show you what it looks like. You can't even see inside at all. It's just pure reflection of whatever's happening around you. And I got it tinted from the back, this one down here, this one up here, and then the back over here. So that way um, I could have that curtain which divides right in the middle there, and it doesn't look sketchy. People can look in these front windows, and see what's going on. See, with these ones, you can see inside of it. Here, you can't. Even at night, you can't see inside of it. If you have a small light on, you can see the light in a very small degree. But what I like to do is, you know, get everything ready for when you're gonna sleep in it. If This is mainly applying if you're in a urban area. Get everything ready to sleep in it, and then just basically have a little flashlight and then get like the extra little things you need to get done done and then just turn it off and pass out and no worries no one's going to see you no one's assuming that you're living in a prius in the back of it cuz it's just such an obscure thing especially when the car is so vanilla and by vanilla i mean just basic so i don't have anything on the dashboard my license plate isn't weird i don't have any crazy bumper sticker saying i went to like Grand Tetons or the Grand Canyon and I'm like this explorer like that just give dead giveaway your traveler I don't have a roof rack. I don't have a solar panel on the top of it It just looks like a normal black Prius that a grandma or a family owns Keep it that way. Don't get special with your personality and all that stuff Keep that specialness for your videos if you're doing videoing for your photography for your graphic design for art that you're making You don't need to express it in your car when you're trying to live in it so I can't express that enough. Keep your car as basic as possible so no one's gonna suspect that you're living in it. All right, so the final thing I wanna talk about is rain guards. So you see these things right here? They're really easy to install. They cost about 60 bucks. I literally went to O'Reilly's and said, I wanna get these special ordered. They had them there same day. You literally just take the tape off and paste them on. And basically what it allows you to do is roll down your window a little bit from the inside so that at night, you can have circulation throughout your car. This makes a huge difference because when you're sleeping in your car and it gets boiling and you wake up in the morning and the sun's beating on it, having that little extra airflow coming through makes a monumental difference. Even at night when you just want to be cool and chill out a little bit, I do it for all four windows. So boom, 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 boom. And I just keep them all rolled down a little bit. Keeps the rain out, keeps people from looking inside. You can't see through it so you can roll down there. Your windows are still completely tinted. Huge difference. It's raining right now so this is perfect timing for this. 
couldn't have asked for a better moment to show this off. So right now I'm gonna pop inside the car and show you what it looks like. All right, so pop it inside the car here. Basically what you do is you just roll it down a little bit, so right to that edge right there. Then you got that nice rain airflow coming in through here. Boom. One great thing to keep in mind also with having a Prius for night camping is that at night you can literally just turn the AC on and have it running all night and this also doubles for the heat. So what will happen is basically the car will turn on every hour. So the engine will turn on, charge the battery, then turn off and it'll keep the AC and the heat on at this entire time. So you do have to deal with the fact that the engine's turning on, it kind of gets, it could startle you, but I'm a really deep sleeper and it honestly doesn't bother me at all. You can just sleep right through it. Um, that allows you to be in more extreme conditions. So if it's really hot out or really cold out, you can have that comfortable inside without having to basically insulate the car or deal with any of that bullshit that takes a lot of time, effort, and stripping down of the car to do. But yeah, this is basically it right here. Full setup, so you can lay down here, like check out your phone um, at night when I'm getting ready. Got a nice little light up there. Basically, you're just like in total comfort and you could totally fit two people here. Um, I've had two people sleep in here before and it's very comfortable because it's a full size bed. You're not squished at all. You need to access your stuff. You literally just pull this thing up. Boom, pull this up and you got all your clothes, all your food right there from the inside. I keep my toiletries over here. Um, I took this thing out so I can just easily access that. And yeah, basically the stuff that's in the layer below this, like if you were to pull this up, I don't really ever have need access to while I'm sleeping in the car, so I just keep that there. But I like to adjust the pillow if I want to sit up and work on my laptop. Um, I'll adjust my pillow here and then just lay like this and then just put my laptop right here and then I just turn a mobile hotspot on and boom, just like working on my computer in my laptop. One thing I also want to mention is the support system for the bed up here. Um, so as you can see, I basically kept these things on, so these work, um, the heads work as a support for the mattress. So you actually don't really have to get any kind of board or anything there. Um, what I like to do at night is I just lay my backpack of my camera gear down under there, so that makes the front seats completely empty under there. Literally perfect setup you got there. Um, so thanks for watching guys, if you found that useful, Drop me a like, subscribe, ask me any questions you got. It actually took me a lot of experimenting to get this whole setup down. I know it just looks like you can just do it. Um, but I'm gonna, gonna drop a link to everything I got below exactly the name of it so you can see what it is if you wanna get it and just replicate the process. You could probably do this whole thing in a day. Um, that was my goal originally, but I had a few troubles with things and like I got a different kind of um, curtain thing and it was white and it just stood out and reflected light really well. and. Um, then one of my rain guards cracked. They're really fragile, so be careful with those. So they got a new one of those. Um, also, I got my windows tinted at like 15% originally, and that wasn't as much as I thought it was gonna be, so I ended up going with the 5%. So a lot of this has been trial and error, but I finally found this system that works well for me. So replicate this if you can. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. I'll catch you next time.